Okay, so here's our question from class. So we've got 0.15 grams of polyvinyl alcohol in water with a total volume of 250 mils, and we're told the osmotic pressure, and we want to find the molar mass. So we need to start off with uh, probably the equation here for osmotic pressure. So pi uh, equals molar concentration times gas constant times temperature, and we're told the osmotic pressure um, it is given in millimeters of mercury, which we'll have to convert probably to atmospheres. Um, we can look up the gas constant. We're told the temperature in degrees C. We can convert that uh, to Kelvin to use in this equation. And so presumably the only thing we don't know is the molar concentration. So we can rearrange for this, right? So molar concentration is pi over RT. Um, what's our gas constant? Well, if you remember, it's 0 0.0821, and the units are atmosphere liters per mole Kelvin. And so that tells us that really our osmotic pressure is going to have to be in atmospheres, otherwise those units aren't going to cancel out. Um, what's the other thing we can do here very quickly? Ah, the temperature... The absolute temperature, we just go ahead and add 273, and that gives us 298 Kelvin. Um, so we just need to plug in the osmotic pressure, but you can see that if we just plug in this value, the units won't cancel. So that's pretty easy. We know one atmosphere is 760 millimeters of mercury. And so that allows us to convert. And if you do your conversion, and so we can go ahead and just kind of pop that over. And so this gives us um, 8.89 times 10 to the minus 5 of an atmosphere. Okay, so now we're ready to go ahead and sort of plug everything in our equation. Uh, so our molar concentration then is going to be um, that pressure, 8.89 times 10 to the minus 5 of an atmosphere, divided by RT, so that's 0 0.0821 atmosphere liter per mole Kelvin, times by our temperature, 298 Kelvin. And if we go ahead and maybe check the units here, so our atmospheres are canceling, our Kelvin is canceling, you've got 1 over liters per mole, and so of course we're dividing liters per mole into 1, and so that gives us units of moles per liter, which is what we'd expect for a molar concentration. And if we go ahead and we calculate that, we get 3.637 times 10 to the minus 6 moles per liter. Uh, probably we should stop at the third significant figure. Um, I'm just a little bit worried if we do this calculation, we might end up with Randolph error. Um, so that's our molar concentration, and I think that's about where we got to in class. So the problem isn't asking what the molar concentration is. It wants to know... Um, the molar mass. And so the molar mass we symbolize with that curly M, and that's the number of grams in a mole, or more generally, if we just divide the number of grams by the number of moles, um, we can calculate the molar mass. We're told the number of grams in the problem. Um, we took 0 0.150 grams of polyvinyl alcohol, and the question is, how many moles was that equal to? Um, well, we made a 250 mil solution, and we know the concentration of that solution, and so that means that we can calculate um, the number of moles. So how are we going to do that? Well, we got 250 milliliters. We know there's a thousand of those in a liter, and we can take our molar concentration as a conversion factor. And so we can write, there's this many moles in one liter, and you can see our units have canceled out. Oh, whoops, that's supposed to be moles, isn't it? And all our units have canceled out and given us with the total number of moles, uh, which I think is 9.09 .09 
with a guard digit 3 times 10 to the minus 7 of a mole. And so that means that up here, the number of moles now we figured out. So we can go ahead and we can plug um, this into our equation. So molar mass, number of grams per number of moles, number of grams, again we were told, so that's our 0 0.150. Number of moles, well we just calculated that. And you can see this is a pretty damn small number here on the bottom. And that means that when we divide, we're going to get an extremely large molar mass, much larger than probably anything we've seen before. In fact, it is about 165,000 grams per mole to three significant figures. And, I mean, the problem really stops there, but, you know, if you're curious what's going on here, well, this is a polymer, and a polymer, poly means many, and mer means parts. And so this is a molecule made up of many parts. And schematically, polyvinyl alcohol is made up of a whole bunch of molecules joined up covalently in sort of a giant necklace. In fact, the actual structure, if you're curious, looks something like this. You've got a CH2 group with a CH group with an OH hanging off. And this is replicated very many times. And so N here is just an extremely large number. In our case, probably on the order of, I don't know, like four or 5,000. And you've got this giant molecule made out of this repeating group. And one of the kind of neat things is, is that this OH group, of course, you probably will recognize as a hydrogen bond. It's got an acceptor and a donor that we could draw in the lone pairs on just to show the acceptor. And we can see the donors, the H on the OH. And this makes it a very polar polymer. In fact, it's very soluble in water. If you've ever put sort of a dishwasher or a washing machine tablet in that's got all the ingredients on the inside and then like a plastic coating on the outside, that's what the plastic coating is made of. Okay, we're done.